Hey party people, Chipperson here. First of all, thanks for all the votes from the Chip Army on TBS. It's much appreciate, much, much obliged. Foot. The Chip Army will rise and we will see victory and then everything will happen. Thanks so much. I wanted to remind you, I'm also on Cameo, like the hooker that I am, and also Patreon. I do some live stuff. Uh, I'm doing more and more. I haven't been doing much the last couple weeks because I've been too busy from fucking cake doing TBS. But anyway, if you want to get a Cameo, feel free to do so. And if not, fuck it. Thanks so much for supporting me anyway. Daddy appreciates it. I pull up and just get my headphones. Uh, I, crazy. I would feel like he's going to have a log of shit in his hand. <laughs> One of those highfalutin jokes. <laughs> Load of Terrible shit. news. <laughs> uh, I'm a local doctor, and I just wanted you to know that there's not going to be a podcast tonight due to illnesses around. Oh, wow. You're like, where's Fuck Chip? It. I'm pulling your prick. Ah, it's me, Chipperson. Got him. Chipperson. Oh, I thought you were a real doctor. I thought it was Dr. Fauci. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I'm all tangled up, babe. What oh, happened? God. Of course he is. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> My prank it. backfired, babe. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, 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 I put my goddamn thing. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. I have noticed it's very difficult. I, I have uh, the small, like the, the Beats earbud things that go yep. over your ears. And yep. then I got uh, glasses. And then with the mask on, you got like a pile of shit behind your ears all day. Just pushing them forward. Yeah, yeah I hate that everyone's too. Everyone's going to have, they're going to be like, they're going to remember the COVID thing because everyone's ears are going to be all poked out. Like yeah. Will Smith. Yeah, like Will Smith. Yeah. By the way, uh, you'll have to excuse, I'm crashing at shinkles. That's what the background oh, is. Oh. I, I, I hope he's not there. <laughs> no, did you see his poem? Um, he did a, a nice poem called the, uh, uh, the Bees Bring the Honey. I'd love to hear it. That's do. Good. I'm concerned that Anthony would not enjoy it. <laughs> is that, is that true, Anthony? Is it regular poetry or uh, slam poetry? There's a it, d- big difference with me. I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to show it to you. God damn it, I can't pull my mask off. It's just kind of <laughs> hanging by my fucking chest. I'm fucked up. That's a good prank, though, right? I got everybody. You totally Dave, nailed me. Yeah, welcome thought, back to the program, Dave. Hey, thanks for having me, Chip. I really appreciate it. I thought you were a doctor. I, a lot of people do. Believe me, I've been walking around squeezing tits all month. Hey, I got to check <laughs> you for COVID lumps. Foot, <laughs> foot. <laughs> COVID lumps. <laughs> just grabbing boobas. Nice. Yeah. Dave, where are you? At Anthony's house? No, I am in my uh, spare bedroom in my apartment. I moved out of Anthony's on Monday. Oh, that's right. You guys are back. Uh, you big apple in it again. How is that going? I'm just, me. I'm crashing at shinkles. It yeah, it's hurt. nice. I can tell by the bookshelf. A lot of yeah. literature there. <laughs> He's a big reader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, uh, the city's weird. I don't know. It's uh, New York City, Chip. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's it's it seems like things are fraying on the edges, a little coming apart at the seams. Yeah, that's what I heard. Right, I heard everything's getting so nutty. It's like Mr. Fruitcake City or something. So, uh, okay, Karen, I, I haven't exactly talked to you in a earlier. while. What's that? I said that exact word for word earlier. Yeah, fruitcake. Yeah. Call fruitcake island instead it's of Manhattan. Fruit- if you ask Chipperson, hold on yeah, a second. Fruitcake island. Yeah, you take one, you take pride away. They all lose their shit. Yep, that's exactly it, babe. Probably go go with before destruction. You're not wrong. So talk to me. Corinthians. Uh, what, I haven't seen you in a while, Dave. What have you been doing? You still hosting the show with Anthony, or has there been problems? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, we've been pretty good with each other, uh, especially when we lived together. We were uh, yeah. very, very good, very good times. Uh, we you we missed- now we're back in studio. You missed really? Chick Fil A night, though, uh, Dave. We we had it's Thursday. We had oh, Chick Fil A tonight. Women? Ew, <laughs> <laughs> that's dangerous. Chick Fil A, I get it. 
<laughs> God damn chip. Ah, uh, cannibalism. That is uh, what a chick is for. Uh, What's that chick for? Chick fil A. And you yeah. hop on oh, there and you get the pecker in. Oh, like <laughs> eating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, that's great. Yeah, just, getting you going, babe. Yeah, just hard. like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now how has it been going back into the city and stuff, right? It's kind of feeling like everything's coming apart at the seams. A lot that, of people yeah, I heard, I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of people getting shot, a little bit of violence. But, no, you know, no other than that, a lot of junkies, zombies. We're, Karen's just getting stomped over over here. What happened, Karen? Chip asked you a question. You tried to answer it, and then Chip stepped all over you. Go ahead, babe. I'm sorry. What was you saying? I don't remember the question, but the zombies are out. They're all out. There was one outside of my stoop the other day. They're all it's, – it's, there was somebody dismembered up the block from me. Yeah, yeah. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. They, they, floor. they, they took somebody. Off. I think I'm safe because I don't have a dick. Yeah, I won't date you. <laughs> I've been checking the zombies for COVID lumps. <laughs> yes. Give this COVID lumps. Give a nice squeeze in the buttocks. Yeah, that's uh, right. You got to check the buttocks too for the COVID oh, lumps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Search around in there. You open it up and you get, you wait until you, until you stink down to this part of your knuckle. Once you stink onto the top of your actual hand, you know you've checked deep enough. <laughs> a good, a good but, Trebek check. Oh, a yeah. A good Trebek check. Being hey, a doctor, you know that. Hey, babe, let me ask you something. Uh, yeah, yes, Chip. <laughs> what are you drinking? That looks like a nice beverage. Oh, it's a little glass of wine. I have uh, some Penfolds. Um, Pen uh, falls. You're going to get ink all over your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say anything to Chip without ah. a hilarious joke coming out. Just a target or? practice. Oh, it's hi. a Shiraz and Cabernet mix. It's great. Like Australia and a little California. Is it a twist off though? It is, which uh, uh, is... <laughs> you know what? I, I do get uh, your corked wines, but this one is really good. Right. Penfolds is great, and and it, it, it's not as bad these days. The the screw off uh, top. No, a lot of soccer moms need it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, if you have the box of wine in the refrigerator with the little tap on it, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> My mother gets little sippy juices of wine. This way, she can go around, and nobody knows she's drinking liquor. It's Hawaiian punch, but she dumps out the punch uh. and puts in vino. People are doing that with Zoom meetings these days, with corporate meetings. They sit there with a coffee cup. And I saw one where they took a, a, tea, a tea bag, the string. Ew, and somebody's balls? No, Chip. A regular to, to make tea. But you, you cut the tea, the tea bag off, and then you tape the, the string with the paper on it, and you fill it up with booze. Now you're drinking, and it looks like you're drinking a cup of tea because you got the little string and the little... You know, Earl Grey and, and you really get back. It's really a tampon that they Could be a tampon. Vodka, and then they just put it in the. I've never done it, I, but I mean, I've heard it works. Shoved you put up it your right ass. up there? But when I used to drink, my blood type would probably just, you could squeeze it out and it would probably get you wasted. Uh, Why not just be, be discreet? Hey, if you're at the big Zoom meeting or something, you go, all right, call to order. Don't anybody ask me what I'm drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just keep it on a DL, like a cool Yeah, all right, let's right, just keep right. this between. Hey, am I coming in loud or does it sound okay? Sounds perfect. It's, it sounds good. It's okay, music that to is my, my ears. headphones. My headphones are fucking garbage. He's the headphones. He's the headphones. Yeah, fucking terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would just say, like, don't ask me what's in here, you know. Um, <laughs> what's in there? Fucking uh, water. Heroin. It's water. Why? <laughs> Getting <drinking>. zooted. <laughs> Karen, I'm really enjoying your dance videos. Aren't I improving? They're yeah. so good. It's so fun to watch. Here's my favorite move. Here's oh. my favorite Karen dance move. Do it. Yeah, uh, when I hit myself. When you when you do the little thing. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Do you do that? I love it. Love that, that all white women, when they're learning choreography taught to them by a black person, if they clap at the beginning of it. I've yeah, yeah, that. you gotta go. I and then you do so, all your thing, and you. I don't even feel it. 
feel it on myself doing it. It's just like, you're white. <laughs> Wait, when you're in a club, do you do what I do? I go over my head and I go. Oh, God. Yeah. Look at oh. that shadow. What's that? Yeah. I'm, I'm crashing at shinkles. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that how you just enter most rooms? Yep, just clapping over my yeah, motherfucking just, head. Laughter uh, is here, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me ask you, Aunt, you've been watching the TBS thing? I have been watching the, um, what, what is it called? The laugh. Uh, the steamrolling of a piece <laughs> of garbages. <laughs> the I tell you, that's right. The takeover of TBS. Yep. I make sure I vote for Chip uh, after every uh, episode. Uh, on I Sunday, vote, my mom votes, my boyfriend votes, we all vote. Much obliged. <laughs> it's but very funny. Your 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 whole uh, thing. You're cooking. You're uh, you're very funny, Chip. That's what everybody's been saying. I got a fucking. I didn't like this text though. I fucking saw Norton's phone. I didn't like this at all. Oh, Hold no. on one second. Oh no. Hold oh, on. Jesus. It Hold just on. A cock? No, he would have loved that. Hold on one second. Uh, this one. Fucking. Uh, uh, hold, no, it said. Uh, oh, God damn. Lowest point of my life was when I just texted 73596 and voted oh, no. for Chip. Oh, no. Who said that to you? Jimmy voted for you. No, that was from Colin Quinn to Norton. Oh. Okay, I thought it was Jimmy. Oh, oh, oh that's Colin. Oh, oh, that's so nice of him. Yeah, he knows better. He knows where his bread is fucking butted. If he that's needs a place right. to come and promote one of his fucking his Bible stories, he can come on this program. He knows that. <laughs> Bible stories. It's no. history. That's knows where his. To make Colin Quinn. <laughs> yeah, that's right, babe. You know what he's doing. That's fucking right. sucking up to me, you know? What are you going to do if you win? I mean, you're, you're pretty humble already, but what are you going to do if you win? <laughs> when I win? Uh, well, they asked me that today. It's funny. I did a Jeno and Aaron show, and I told them the truth. I'm going to go to fucking uh, treat myself to Hartford, Connecticut for about, I was going to go between six months and a year because it's the insurance capital. And yes, I yes. love walking around, looking at a big insurance building, <laughs> wondering what insurance business is going on up there right now? Like, right. Are they, is it, are they, are they, uh, are they, uh, is it an auto insurance place? Is it a medical malpractice place? What the fuck is going on? Home I love owners, it. Car Don't. insurance. Won't well, most go. of them be at home though, because of the virus, there'd be pretty much nothing going on. But I could still wonder what type of offices are up there. Like what's oh, going on? Up yeah. There? Yeah. You the think it would that take that long? <laughs> You think it would take that long, though, to stay in Hartford to just figure out what businesses or what insurance companies? You never want to figure it out. Just the mystery alone, right? That's yeah, what yeah. It is. Some yep. things are better left unsolved. Oh, is it be a fly on the wall of fidelity? Oh, could you imagine? Oh, from your lips to God's. Because I'm writing a comic book where the superhero is an insurance claims adjuster but he flies around from office to office. He makes sure that people have signed in the right places. Oh. And he does yeah. like proofreading and he makes sure that the copies, everybody oh gets their copy. Get wet for a proofreader. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Right? It's like a flying flow. Yeah, kind <laughs> yes. of. Yeah. yeah. All from progressive. Oh, fuck yeah. I would love to walk around there with her on a fucking date. <laughs> like walk around Hartford, Connecticut with Flo looking at insurance buildings. Yep, a what a night. What a night that would be. Yeah, well, you really know. live in the dream. <laughs> Let me take these off. These headphones are driving me nuts. Hold on. Progressive. They have good soup. Ah, uh, damn it. Hold on a second. He missed that one. His headphones were out. It's for the best. <laughs> <laughs> God, Bose headphones fucking stink. Hold on. I agree. I have Beats. You guys should see mine. Mine are wicked expensive. I love Ooh, the someone sounds like she's. Oh, from, oh that's beats. running hot. That's a little hot. I got the Beats. Uh, the, the, the Beats. The little ones, though, that go in your Same. ears. Oh, they're, you ele got they're nice. electric taped right here. Yeah, how's that? Damn, you look like a Beats commercial yeah, right there. Yeah, Beats. We're, we're, oh, that's looks nice. like she's in a Beats commercial. Very stark, the pink, the white yeah. headphones. It's like one of those old uh, Apple videos from a long time ago. I, I like to wear them out. And with your nails? 
I got my nails done today by a little Asian woman in between. She was on the other side of a glass and I was on this side. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Right. Yeah, like the glass in between. I'd love to see two brown and one red fingernail. Then we know what you've been doing. <laughs> Check it for COVID lumps. Yeah. <laughs> Front and back, same time. Do you bite your nails? They're a little yeah. short. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no. Not you, me. Not you, Chip. I, I like them short so I don't get stuff under there. That's good. Yep. Stuff. Evidence. You know what that means, Chip, right? Stuff. Stuff. Yeah, she's fucking like, we're doing coke. No, coke. That's not, that's not <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. He's you a little like confused. No, wow, no yeah. Yeah, well, you Scarface <laughs> or something, right? Uh, let me ask you something, though. Um, your fingernails, right? Like, do you, like, I like it if I'm out with a girl. And like, I'll just take her hand sometimes and just start nibbling on her nails. No, no. Do you no. like when a guy chews your nails? <laughs> yes, I do. You like that? It's sexy, right? <laughs> yeah, I like it. I didn't it. expect to hear that. <laughs> no. You're not, you're not walking past the right people to get back to the <laughs> yeah. station. Dave, what do you do all week at home now? Do you live by yourself? Your wife's out of the state, right? Yeah, she's out of state. I'm, uh, yeah, I live in this uh, apartment. I got two bedrooms, and now I'm sitting in the empty one, which I use as a gym, so it's pretty empty. Oh, do you got a Bowflex weight? Uh, no, I just have two weights. How much they weigh? 20 pounds. Oh, yeah, I fucking <laughs> bench way more. I oh. bet you do. I wouldn't go up against you ever. Yeah. What do you bench, Chip? What do you bench? Weights. He's weights. Oh, no. Okay, that's cool. Like, I think he meant how much weight. Yeah. Answer with a number. Yeah. Can you bench your body weight? Oh, <laughs> easily. Was it? Was I didn't okay. work out today, though. I'm crashing at shinkles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got Can I ask why you're crashing at shinkles? He's had some problems with his congestion and his apnea machine's not working. So he wakes up gasping 15 times an hour. So I got to shake him and go, you're dying, Craig. And he goes, <laughs> oh, so neither one of us is sleeping at all. You got oh, to resuscitate him? Wow. What's that? You resuscitate him? I just shake him real rough. Once in a while, you know, he doesn't wake back up. I'm like, ah, fucking who needs it? And then they you know, wake up on the floor or something. Right. He wakes up on the floor. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just crashing at his place for a little uh, while. What do you think of the outfit? It's nice, right? Yeah, is that like a deep V-neck or is that a vest under there? Oh, or come on, babe. It's a fucking what? vest. That's how I go. Because <laughs> how it's cut off from the framing, it looks like kind of a gown. <laughs> you, look, you look almost <laughs> as flat-chested as me. What's yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> You're almost as flat-chested as me. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. Uh, I'm just saying that... Uh, Norton's been, what do they call it? He's been building his titties during the pandemic. Oh. Is that why you got it wide open so everybody can see? No, I'm trying to like just kind of let him open and hang. I don't want a nice shirt that clings to him and shadows under the bosom. Ah, it's not my her. fault. I don't eat much. Good is idea. That a, is that a custom outfit or uh, yeah, off the rack? Yeah, I walked in. I was like, uh, oh, off the rack. Forget it. I walked right in, right? I'm like, you got something that could fit me that's custom? And they were like, sure. And then they took something off a rack? <laughs> yeah, but they told me it was oh. custom. <laughs> that's so pretty good. low cut what you're wearing, Karen. You look great. Yeah, thanks. I'm trying to use my armpit fat as tit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a girl's do a little trick? Is that a trick? Armpit fat. <laughs> Mine just does this. <laughs> I eat, it goes right to my armpits. Yeah. My biggest fear in life is having fat that goes over. Oh, over God. Oh, yeah. Roll in the back. Wow, yeah, that's not good. The back bra strap fat. Oh, my biggest fear is dating a girl that has that. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Yeah. I like Fucking, it. she's all pretty from the front and the back. You'll go, great. Nice piggyback. I've had to say that to a few <laughs> girls. Nice I'm piggyback. Like it. Let me stick my dick in oh, there. Yeah, like pressing a shoelace into biscuit dough. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. It's just, you do get That's that. It. Too hot. It's too hot for fat people. They're too sticky. Yeah, I know. I know. You're, you're obsessed, uh, Karen, aren't you? You're very obsessed. You're, you're constantly exercising and moving yeah. around and sweating. That's Getting my alcohol. Your cool to wet. alcoholism, though. <laughs> 
what? What chip? He said getting your cooter wet. Yeah, yeah just sweating into it. I sweat into it. I slide all over my plywood floors. So I was like a <laughs> At the end of my- <laughs> I'm very afraid sometimes you're going to get a splinter from your floors. I yeah. Mean, happens, you know? Invite the neighborhood yeah. kids over for a slip and slide. Yeah. <laughs> On the slide. The neighborhood heroin addicts and just- <laughs> so wait a minute, babe. Let me ask you a question. All joking aside, sure, we've told a few lies. We've had a few laughs. But the most important thing is, is my mic too hot right now or is it okay? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Listen, <laughs> Sometimes maybe it's just to my ear. <laughs> very, very um, self-absorbed. Yeah, no, I ain't trying to be hot. I just feel like I'm coming in hot. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I have my hey. headphones on. Hey. You're a little, it's a little loud, but it doesn't sound like overly loud. Hey. Yeah, you're the host. Certainly, certainly not invasive. No, no, the way hey. you fix the mic. Hey. Yeah, Hold on, no one, way. two, three, one, two, three. All right, cool. So what kind of dancing? Oh, that's not loud enough. I can't hear myself. There you are, sweetie. You what go. kind of dancing you doing, babe? You pop I'm, lock? I'm popping. I'm locking. I'm stripping. <laughs> I'm farting. I'm whatever. Whatever keeps me sweating, I'm doing. This black gentleman named Mike Peel teaches choreography that white people can do, and I just try to do it. And Jordan I Peel's him. brother. Yeah. Oh, he, is he? he mm-hmm. Oh, too. Sure he's not related to orange? I don't believe it. We <laughs> <Be> banana. <laughs> or uh, 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 or like a facial peel. A facial, yeah. I couldn't think of anything. That happens. So are you yeah. good dancer, babe? You know, I was in the Boston Ballet when I was younger, but I've I've lost a lot of my talent. Um, but I'm trying to get it back, and I'm just trying to have fun with it. You know, work up a sweat. Could you dance on your toe tips? I did that, yeah. I used to get um, ingrown toenails. Ew. Oh. Your feet must be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I just got them done. So I'm going to fall over if I Let die. me see. Got them done by who? The little Fucking Asian. Kathy Bates? The little Asian. <laughs> Why I look hobbled? Let me see. No, oh, they're actually not nice. that bad. No, the the nail seems to be sitting uncomfortably uh, apart from the toe on the big one. I don't care for you. I don't like like Megan Fox's thumb. I don't like your big toe. Fucking well, bugs me. How long this toe is? That means I'm wicked smart. Oh, oh, the Morton's toe. That's called. Mine's yeah. like that, but they're all hammered. It's pretty hot. <laughs> oh, you got hammer toes? <laughs> they are all hammered. Yeah. yeah I mean, what's a hammer toe look like? Uh, like it was really popular in the '90s. <laughs> oh no! It wears loose baggy pants. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but my toe spent $30 yeah. million. Dollars. Uh, you know, MC Hammer Toe. <laughs> my toe got a fortune care gold gates. <laughs> Anthony, let me ask you. Would you ever let another man worship your feet while you were gaming? <laughs> besides Drew? I know. Yeah, besides when Drew was here. Who's Drew? Uh, yeah, Drew's who's- uh, our, our engineer guy, our, our producer. Is he homosexual? That was here at my house. No, what happened? Not, oh, maybe you couldn't hear a crackling? No, your mic went all... It did, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's doing a little bit now. Yeah, I think... Bit. No, by the way, I'll answer the question with... God just damn it. No, I would Sorry. not let a man worship my... I would let a woman worship my feet. It's fucking stupid. Oh, I love my feet worshipped. Worshipped? Yeah. Like a, like a preacher worships it? Talking about, about Jesus? No, yeah. just... So I like when a woman puts my fucking toes right under this part and goes back and forth real quick like that so I can feel the underside of my toe on her gum and teeth. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just like to bring you dead animals I've sacrificed for your feet. Oh, that's nice. a way of worship. More Santeria-like, but Thank it you. is uh, still worshiping. Yeah, Does the girl do this willingly or do you pay someone to enter a special room? Uh, well, those are not mutually exclusive ideas. Uh, <laughs> they can coexist. Uh, <laughs> women love my... You know what the problem is, though? We got a new sponsor. I mean, if I don't, I don't oh. want to be negligent. No, no, not of, of course not. Of course, I didn't mean to... <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Um, I just remembered when you said that, that I got to do this read, and I'm happy to welcome Tushy Bidet. Ooh, that now, sounds the, refreshing. 
It really yes. does. They're offering free shipping. Everyone has an ass. Everyone deserves the gift of tushy. Wiping your butt with dry toilet paper does not remove all the shit. <laughs> That's the actual copy. If this is not a perfect match for chips, then nothing is. <laughs> but let's talk about it. Because in high school, I was voted most likely to wipe poorly enough to get an infection by the end of the day. <laughs> I was a quick wiper because the kids would put cigarettes out on me when I was in the bathroom. So I would always just take one sheet foot on the way out the door. Oh, God, no. Nine times out of ten, I developed a horrible itch. And then there were little bugs crawling around back there because I would never this wipe is, well enough. This is terrible. If you got poop on another part of your body, would you just wipe it off with dry paper? Like, let's just say you had a log on your forehead, Norton. I mean, would you just pick it off and wipe it with dry paper? No, you'd get a damn cloth and fucking wipe it off and scrub it and whatnot. Good point. Yeah, that's true. There's a yeah. new sleek bidet attachment. You don't need the whole fucking thing. What are we, in Europe? <laughs> no. Attaches to your existing toilet. So. Sprays your butt completely clean with fresh water. It's called tushy. <laughs> It's the best thing you can do for your butt. Tushy sprays directly into your hole and removes the poop completely. I like when they <laughs> cuten it up. Tushy <laughs> cleans out your asshole and gets rid of the little doo-doos. <laughs> Come on. Is that in the copy? <laughs> no, I'm saying that. It's just poop. Oh, okay. so you, you're not sitting on bacteria that leads to nasty things oh. like hemorrhoids, yeast infections, oh. UTIs, itchy assholes, and skid marks. Boy, they really <laughs> bring it home at the end. Whoever wrote this copy should be hugged. I want to <laughs> hug them. I love it. They keep it really cute. Hemorrhoids, yeast infections, UTIs, itchy assholes, and skid marks. That sounds like two people wrote the copy and they just put it together and go, We're, go, just go with it. Go with it. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? They're right. They're not trying to make it cute. Here's the thing. You ever have an itchy asshole? Hands up if your asshole's ever itched so much, it's, you scratched it until three of your nails broke. <laughs> it's not cute. It's not cute. When no. you're digging back there and you're scratching and oh. nothing happens, it's because you got little bacteria caked in there. Oh, God. Your asshole looks like that well from Silence of the Lambs that the girl was trying to climb out of. <laughs> it's got nails in it and scratch marks. Well, it's animals. blood. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, my mother will bring you toilet paper. <laughs> I like when my butthole itches just a tiny bit. Oh. It lets you, you know it's there. The satisfaction from scratching it. Yeah. I think just because that way you know it's healing. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel, at least. Oh, yeah. A little, uh, hold on. What happened? Ooh. It's just getting a little bit weird, and I got to hit the mic, and then it happens. I can hear it going in and out, so I'm trying to do that to straighten it. You did mm. it. It's, uh, it won't enough. clog your toilet. That's the nice thing. Paper mm. clogs, and you're just mushing shit up the back of your crack into your spine. It's not Ugh. good. No. Oh. And wet wipes are worse than toilet paper. They're terrible for the environment. They clog your toilet. They How cause anal you? fissures. How dare you use them? I should be in school wiping my ass with Swedish toilet paper. <laughs> but I'm here. On the other side of the ocean. What is that? <laughs> Greta Thunberg. Oh. She's an environmentalist. She wouldn't like the fact that you're throwing your wet wipes all over the environment. No. And GT would be it. right. She would be right. It's only 79 bucks. 79 Jeez, bucks. Wow. Very and by the way, the tushy ottoman helps you get everything out. It's like a sexy tooth or cloud that helps you poop. It's only $69. So I guess you put your feet up on it, I'm guessing. Oh. Uh, let's just say go to hellotushy.com. H-E-L-L-O-T-U-S-H-Y. Get the water squirting right up there. Clean out your butt. Too many people are complaining. How come my wife won't go back there and eat my hiney? Because it oh. smells like a whopper. That's why. You don't wipe it good enough. It's got mush caked on it. It's got fucking hairs. The whole thing. It looks like a fucking, an Irish setter that got hit with a fucking bat. And it's just kind of got a muddy bat print in its back. Nobody wants to lick your butthole when it's like that. Oh, dear Hello, Lord. HelloTushy.com slash chip. Get 10% off your order and free shipping. Clean out your butthole. Nothing feels better than a bidet. Oh, so Nothing. Nice. Great, Chip. Wow. Yeah, that was good. They sold me. Yeah. I love it. I'm going to do one, one tonight. I'm do like a paid partnership with them on my OnlyFans, and I'll just get real clean. 
Oh, that's hot, baby. Yeah, because you show your butt on that. Do you actually show your butt or your butthole? I don't know. Whatever is open. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a great attitude if you're looking for potato chips at 2 o'clock in the morning. All right. Where should I go? Uh, whatever's open. I like the... <laughs> whatever's cleanest. Yeah, that's nice, babe. Okay, so maybe you should partner with them. Hello, Tushy. Hello, uh, dot com. Get in touch with Karen. Yeah, do a lot of people go to your thing? A lot of people look at you there? Yeah, they have fun. They send me messages. Some people try to make requests, and it's like, mm. would you do that at a Prince concert? You know what I mean? Like, I'm an right? artist. Right? Yeah. yeah. I would. No I'd be, if I was at a Prince concert, I'd be like, but don't take the elevator in your house. Don't <laughs> take the elevator in your house. I'd just be surprised I'm watching a dead man perform. Yeah, yeah That true. would be rough. Yeah, tickets yeah. are not refundable to believe this, so I'm still yeah. going. Yeah, I'm with you. So, babe, what kind yeah. of request do they make? Tell me, by the way, if my thing is crapping out, tell me. It's crapping out. It's crapping yeah. out. Okay. You got to smack it again? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's I'm just so happening funny. more tonight. It might be the internet at night is a lot worse than it is in the morning for some reason. Daddy doesn't know. Sometimes that sounds... the requests will be like, hey, like, can I mail you my library card? And then you put that in the crack of your ass. and then Oh, interesting. It mail it back and i just hate mailing stuff you know what i mean yeah. i don't think i should have to do any of this leg work is my point Wait, what, year what is if it? it's what if it's like an amex that's different yeah. dave okay and i got your message uh, okay i just wanted to make sure you you read it <laughs> yeah that's nice now you're talking that's hot do you, stuff do you get people uh what is it like do they go ding ding and tip you and stuff while you're on there see that's fucking wait do they good. tip you while you're not. doing it no, I've never gone live. I've never been live. Why not? That'd be fun. That'd be fun, right? I should. Yeah, yeah people would probably really kick in. Yeah. Like, we'll oh, wind do up this. and crank our puds. If I get <laughs> like 10,000 points, I will show you this or that. You know? Oh, yeah. I'm not that greedy or inventive, but I should be. Desperate's the word. I think. Right, 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 right. I <laughs> I, I suspect you'd get annoyed doing that. I don't see Karen being very patient with some guy <laughs> fucking no. pre-coming all over his keyboard and asking to put your feet in the camera. Put your yeah. feet in the camera. I don't yeah, see yeah. Karen handling that well. Just hurting a guy's feelings and shaming whatever he asks yeah. for. <laughs> yeah. I would just like invite my friends over to they wouldn't know they were there and I'd just like turn and be like, look who's here. Yeah, it'd be a whole <laughs> bunch of people. They'd be like, oh, Pete's sake, this is silly. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Just dox them live on air. <laughs> yeah, why not? What the fuck? I mean, people who tug that peckers deserve to be shamed. That's what I've said. That's always what my mother said. said, too. She would oh, always yeah. come in. Yeah, you ever have a towel cattailed and whipped against the head of your pecker? Oh, oh yeah, of course. Ow. Yeah. I won a contest. That's important. <laughs> that was the prize? <laughs> yes, oh. it was. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, wow. A singing contest. My mom hit me with a belt once after uh, my mom and dad got divorced. I wish my it was mom... around your neck that she hit you. <laughs> oh, oh, what happened? For <laughs> her. Oh, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, what happened? Oh, so uh, yeah. Though. She hit me like my dad used to hit me with a belt and he was pretty good with, at it uh, sure. for disciplinary purposes. And then my mom, when my dad left, decided that she needed to discipline me and she took the belt out. And went to hit me with it. The first yep. swipe ever. The first time she ever hit me. The first swipe. The tip of the belt. Dude, I got hit the around. dick once like that. Fuck you with the tip of a belt. It I was so me. painful. Right in the head of my fucking pecker. I was like, ah, my mother felt fucking terrible. How long? Was how it long have we been were... doing this? I fall for it every time. How <laughs> long have we been doing this show? Every time. I always think I'm going to be able to tell a story. Don't even have a, a crescendo because he's coming for it. <laughs> I really think I'm telling a story, though. I he's don't... the king of the one-ups, though. Can you yep. blame him? Yep, he's seven up. Wait. It, it hit the tip of my dick, Chip. Oh, yeah, I've had my that little, happen. Yeah, I was just my telling little, you. My Hurts. little uh, like, yeah. like eight-year-old dick, and it, it sure. hit, and, and I screamed. Oh, I yelled, like, too, man. Ah. And, and then my mother was felt so bad, she'd never hit me again. Yeah, she kissed it and made it all better. <laughs> yeah, that was my it. mother did. Gave it it's a little like, smooch. Like, like a snake bite. She had to suck the poison out. <laughs> no, yeah, she, she just, just thought she takes it back. 
Yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> she pinched the head so hard that the hole went. <laughs> <laughs> My brother zipped his dick up his zipper once. Oh, that is oh, painful. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's uh, sexy. Everybody's done it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did it though from the bottom of my balls all the way up the skin oh, of the shaft Jesus and then God. around the head and down to the front. You, gotta <laughs> stop it. you have to stop zipping. I yeah, know, I didn't you... realize. I was like, oh my God. Muscle through it, chip us in. Muscle through it. You're going on so a you, date. So you no. thought if you got to the top, it would. Release. Yeah. And I just Are kept going. Sure? And my penis all was the way around. Through the, up through the teeth of that zipper. Wow. <laughs> And yeah. that wasn't like from a movie or anything that happened to you. That happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Something about yeah. Mary took it from me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Based on a true story. Yeah. Yep. So what happened when you zipped your dick or uh, your dick up, Dave? Oh, me? I just, uh, I was getting a handy from a girl when we were young. And of course it didn't finish. And then uh, her dad came downstairs and I zipped it up Ooh, real quick. And it did in fact. Yeah. I got some yeah. teeth and some skin. So it ripped a little bit. It looked like a little piranha bite. Oh, maybe more yell. like a more like a fruit bat. Oh, no, did I didn't need yell? help. I, I uh, no, I I just held it in with. Uh, fortunately, I wore very baggy pant, baggy clothes back then. Yep. So I was able to cover up the part of my dick that was still sticking out when I was oh. asked to leave. Oh my god! Wow. Did I ever tell oh. you one time my girlfriend and I were fooling around on the couch, and I asked her, and she got really mad. I'm like, how mad would you be if you were upstairs? And you came downstairs and me and your father were sitting next to each other. And we both had our pants around our knees and we were jerking each other off. <laughs> and I said to her, and what would you do if you knew your dad was about to come? Because he put his face in my neck and went, oh. No. And then came over my neck. She no. said the face and the neck part was the worst. Yeah. <laughs> And then what, he just comes over your knuckles. Yeah, he just. But as he's beginning to orgasm, he can't say a word. He just puts his face in my neck. Like, oh. oh God! <laughs> Trying to muzzle his pleasure. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, she didn't yeah. care for that at all. Oh, I laughed. Man. She didn't laugh at all. She thought that was a bad oh. scenario. Oh, yeah, she yeah. said that was a really ugly, disgusting, um, an ugly thing. Yeah. She Probably a weird her. thing to bring up. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to bugger. It just felt like bugger. <laughs> That'll do it. I'm like, would it bother you if whenever those scenarios started, it was never good? Yeah, yeah. I recall hearing a few of those if, would it bother you if stories. Yeah, yeah. jerked off your dad. We know those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just fucking, what would you do? She's like, I don't know. I don't know what I expected, a real answer. Uh, you ever have a guy ask you something like that, Karen? Hey, by the way, uh, let me ask you guys something. Uh, the whole thing with the fucking... Uh, oh, wait. I don't know. I asked about TBS already. Everybody's watching me. All right. Everyone's watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Very you, proud. Better, you better win, man. Yeah, if not, it's fixed. Believe Yeah, it's me. rigged. Yeah. Believe Probably me. Is. I mean, the rest of them are cute. Uh, Tim Dillon's funny. Gilbert's funny. Michael Rappaport's funny. He's a good talker. But please, Chipperson. It's Chipperson. You can't beat Chipperson. I mean, if uh, we get Tim Dillon COVID, he's done. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, Chip, why don't you try to make everyone get COVID? Yeah. And then you walk away the winner because they're all, you know, choking on phlegm. Yeah, that's a nice <laughs> idea. I should, we should play a game or something. Let's play yeah. a fun game. I would play a game. I like Chip's I'd, games. I love games. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's think of one. Dave, name a game. Okay. Uh, I spy. Okay, how does that go? That's when you spy something with your little eye, and then the other people have to guess what it is. It's a great one for Venmo. I spy. Or whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> this is Zum. Okay, I zum. spy is cool. What about? We could play Would You Rather. Do you want to play Would You Rather? Well, yeah. Good. Yeah, let's play that. Yeah, that one's. I, that seems to have some chip spice to it. A little salt. Like right, Dave, start us off. Oh boy, would you rather? Let's see. Give choices. I know, but you can jerk off Anthony. Oh, <laughs> until, geez, until you went into his neck. Yep. 
or you have to tell us how many cocks you've sucked. <laughs> um, sure, and over a hundred. Uh, do I have to give one answer, or do I give? I don't know how that works. No, it's would you? No, rather- you pick one, or yeah. Oh my god! All right, all right. Sorry, we'll come back to me. All right. <laughs> You're doing drugs, Karen. You're doing drugs. Karen's doing drugs. It's just a vape, right? My mom gave me this. Isn't it Oh, cute? no, it's VD. <laughs> <laughs> is it tobacco or is it uh, weed? It has a little, it's sativa. It has a little weed. Uh, oh, a little weed, a little weed. You need a little take the edge uh, off. We get it. We get it. If we're going to play Would You Rather, <laughs> I'm going to get it. <laughs> Would You Rather. Karen, go ahead. Your turn. Um, Chip. No, yep. I'll do I'll do, you do Anthony. I'll do or Anthony. Dave. Anthony, would you rather fuck a fat chick or date someone your own age? Ooh. Ooh. Fuck the fat chick. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, or would you rather go to Fort Knox and take it all? <laughs> that yeah, as, an, as, a bonus, as an added, would you rather? Is, the, is that where they keep all uh, the fat women? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to go to a morgue now. <laughs> All right, let me ask yeah. you a question, Anthony. I'll ask you this. By the way, I have uh, had sex with fat women, but I've never had sex with a girl my own age. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Not like ever. I just set you up for a brag. Uh, for- thanks. I know. I appreciate that. Would you rather find a bag of gold coins or take your teeth and scrape the skin tags off a woman's underarms? Oh, my God. <laughs> They're supposed to be hard to pick. Like, oh, oh, yeah, you're right. That is easy. He doesn't get the whole concept of the game. Of course, I would um, I would build a vein it and go with the gold. <laughs> or <laughs> silver. Hard. Yeah, they got to be a little difficult of a choice. You can't make it like All right, that. let me ask. Yeah. Dave, I'll do you. Let me ask you. All, All right. right. Please. Would you rather <laughs> throw a sweet potato or a yam? Still, I believe it's the same thing. No, what would you rather throw? <laughs> would you rather throw a sweet potato or would you rather throw a yam? I guess a yam, it just sounds more fun. There you go. A See, yam would be great. more like a football. Yep. A sweet potato isn't quite as uh, football shaped as a yam. Okay, I have to scrap my other I think question. They're the same thing. I think you oh. can do more damage with a yam. It depends oh, what you're yeah. throwing it at. Yeah, you like, can. Are you mad at somebody? You throw it at a bus. Yeah. A yeah. bag. Yeah. A yam bag. A yam is a little bag. easier to get lodged accidentally. I've been right. told. I've, you can <laughs> fall on them pretty easy. I heard. You sure can. <laughs> when you're pistoning one in and out watching a program. <laughs> Next thing you know, you hear the telltale <laughs> suction. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, just watching your stories. Yep, watching your program. Oh my God. Next thing you know, your slippery hand is empty. You're like, oh, for Pete's sake, where is it trip in the ambulance? Because you're working up a sweat with that hand. You're allowing it to oh get very God. loose. Yeah, and you squeeze it. Oh. Yeah, that's what you hear. And you it feel the, the whole clothes. It can't, mm-hmm. pass the, it can't pass that center of gravity. No. You yeah, squeeze you hear it, it shut. Goes, your like a suppository it. for oh, to swallow. God you need hellotushy.com to get in there and fucking have right. some water blasting up. Sit on the toilet, a little hello tushy, and that yam comes sliding yeah. out. Yeah. All right, so let me see if I got oh, this right. Make some Karen. stew in the toilet. Oh, yeah. Wait, why is this not? Oh, some Karen. prison soup. <laughs> would you rather? Yep. Ain't would- <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I was going to say hang out with an AIDS person or have sex with an AIDS person, and that's your answer. Uh, <laughs> anal. Anal. Wow, that's dangerous. No, I you risk re- sex. It's yeah, that's both. the best. <laughs> would you rather... Let me, hold on, let me fix this camera. This Why camera. risk hanging out? You don't have the sense of danger. Where did he go? Right. Where did the sergeant hold go? Hold on, daddy's coming right back. Okay. Oops, I hope so. I hope so, too. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Oh, oh. What Much happened? better. I don't know. I'm not oh, home right not, now. You're not at the shinkle. Yes, I hold, God damn it. Hold on a second. You're fucked wait, up. The wait key. a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I feel like I'm being Cut head. this part out. I thought it was. 
I thought you were in front of folks. Oh, God damn it! Cut this part out. Hold on a second. Now you're fired. Should we call someone? Oh, oh yeah. It's- oh my God, that doctor's burning. Oh. Yeah. All right. Sorry. That was an in- industrial lights and tragic. <laughs> yeah. Cut hot dicks. Cut that part out. All Sorry right. about that. I'm crashing oh. at shinkles. <laughs> we know. We heard. Yeah. Karen, can I ask you about a little bit about the artwork behind you? Is that just a picture of a, a pickup truck in, in the picture? desert? Is that a picture? Why'd you ask? <laughs> you said the word wrong. A picture. A picture. A picture. Um, this is a piece that my ex took. Um, this is a print. It's like an act- it is. It's a photograph. And it's like- a photograph. Why is he like uh, like a photographer? Or he was sort of. He took it on his way to Burning Man. I like it. I kind of like it, but so he's a drug addict. Right. <laughs> Burning Man. Ah. Uh. Oh, sends chills through my spine. I hate those people. I wish they would all get wiped out. Oh, aren't they oh, the worst? Yeah. You just Burning want the man, man to fall on all of them while they're dancing. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the Burning Man. Fall and watch all that feminine uh, armpit and leg hair go up in flames. Just go and just crotch as oh. a blaze. Awesome. That the crotch fire would be like when when a tire dump starts on fire <laughs> and they can't put it out for years. <laughs> just <laughs> greasy pube fire in the middle of the desert. Yeah. It screams as if it's around a Nigerian's neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of those necklaces. Yeah, they <laughs> necklace somebody. Oh, yeah, they put tires around you and set oh, you on fire for, for was... stealing like a fucking bottle of water. They don't play <laughs> games over there. <laughs> hey, water's important. So let's play Would You Rather. This is so cool. Karen, would you rather? Dan. What's that? Dan. Like Dan I... Rather. Oh, would you rather? I was going to say that. Um, uh, sorry, go ahead. I'm listening. How about would you radish? Sure. Where? Uh, uh, oh, okay. Now we're getting into this. Would you? You wouldn't want a rabbit there. Would you? Uh, <laughs> no, would you rather eat a piece of cake mm-hmm. or get leukemia? <laughs> Again. Again. Boy, he is... fell back into the... Cake. I'm gonna go cake. Uh, I don't great want game. Yeah. Somebody has Chipperson one. Okay. Who has that? Yeah, one? yeah. Okay. Uh, would you rather go to a baseball game <laughs> or uh, catch HIV from a feral cat? <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing? Uh, the Mets. <laughs> it depends. I mean, I've been to Met games. It feels like I've got HIV from a feral cat. It just doesn't fucking end. <laughs> I get you. No one's going to baseball games now anyway. That's true. It's a ridiculous, it's, ludicrous question. We're in a pandemic, remember? Yep. I have one. You, I have one. Go ahead, babe. Would you rather go to the circus or watch animals be abused? Same thing. Fucking <laughs> both make me laugh. It's hard to say. I seen oh. an elephant. It had a chain around his foot. Oh, I fucking cracked up for Why? hours. That's terrible. Why would but you laugh? At- but usually oh. when a kid in the ghetto is choking out his pit bull, he's not dressed like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. but No, oh. I was there. I was in the back behind Ringling Brothers and the elephant had the chain around his foot. I was just teasing it and cracking up, calling yeah. it names. Oh, Did you take yeah. its husks? No, I put a firecracker husks. in his trunk. Why? <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. What kind of, like an M80, or what'd you put in there? No, just a firecracker in uh, one of his nostrils. A black <laughs> didn't, It didn't blow. I tried to blow the fucking trunk off, but it was fine. It just went, terrible. and then he blew it out. And then he my picked up a big great. pile of his own feces, and he threw it on me and my date. <laughs> <laughs> was it a guy in an elephant costume? Yeah. No, it was, it was a real live elephant with his little foot chained up, and I kept going, ah, ah. They put that, that big shackle around it. It's so sad. No, nah, they're happy. They love the circus. Oh, no, they don't. I they said don't, the back. He was trying to sleep, and I just kept going. <laughs> I, kept, I kept waking him up. What's your, <laughs> what's your favorite kind of animal at the circus that's nailed to bike pedals? Oh, when the bears ride bikes around with the fucking stupid tutus and a birthday hat? <laughs> Lucky devil. They always think it's like they're enjoying it so much. Oh, though. I stand Especially right if it's up. It's a tightrope. <laughs> yeah, you have it right across a tightrope, all stupid with fucking honey right. dripping off its feet. 
He got that dumb bear lip, and he's like got an umbrella in his hand. But of course, he's oh. caged, so he can't oh, hurt anybody. They so can, s- they can just hurt him. Yeah. You feel so sad for the poor guy. The bear oh, lips. Yeah. Bear <laughs> lips are like, <laughs> he's got an <laughs> umbrella. He's got a parasol because it looks dainty in his hand. Oh, stupid furry thing. <laughs> of course, it's staple <laughs> to his paw. <laughs> Everything's nailed to him because he just wants to throw it away and consume the person nearest, nearest him. <laughs> That's the best thing to do. Go to the circus. Don't even go inside. Just go into the back in the cages when they're all trying to sleep and just go. Do you yell gotcha, gotcha? Oh, that's the best. <laughs> Animals at the zoo, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, dude, the funniest thing is I go to the circus and I, I open up the one cage. I'm like, you're free. But he runs out and it's into a bigger cage with nails on the floor. And I'm like, gotcha, gotcha. Shouldn't try to escape. Oh, that's so terrible. Uh, I've, I've always hated the circus. My father took me to the circus many years ago when I was a little, little kid. And uh, we had these flashlights you could turn on with a little chain, and you could spin them around. I saw everyone around Madison Square Garden, and you saw these lights spinning, and I tried it, and the third time around, it hit the metal rail in front of me and broke, broke into 100 pieces. And, of course, I start crying, and my dad called me, a pissy-eyed F word for gay people. Did he? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and and I was crying the whole night. I couldn't enjoy the circus because my little toy was broke. Did he buy you another one? Fuck no. Good for him. He's right. Little pissy fruit. eyes. Yeah, <laughs> little fruit. Pissy oh, eyes on a crud. You don't want to give some. <laughs> You don't want to give some crying kid happiness. That's what no, I No, no. He had already taken me to the circus. I fucking broke the thing because I was stupid. I was, everyone else was going this way. I was going this way. And it hit the rail in front of me. And oh. just came up. You ever see a fucking flashlight come apart like that? Yeah. That's, how the, that's how the little boy cries. He's crying <laughs> at you, man. I was yeah. the the up elephant. I bet the chained up elephant runs the whole fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take something and you rub it on the cages when they're trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, those poor animals. Do you I'm so glad food? they got rid of the circus. No, oh, they love yeah. it. They treat them too nice. SeaWorld is next. Stop going so easy on them. Do you like to, you like to hurt large fish? No, I don't like to hurt them, but I'll whip them into submission. <laughs> is SeaWorld <laughs> done now? I think like their mammal thing, like the, uh, the, the killer whales and dolphins, I think they're done with that. That's shit. the funnest part. Well, they're That's the smart the ones because they could do all the fun tricks. You don't never see a fucking salmon jump through a hoop. No one wants ever, to pay for that. Did you ever just put like a can of beans in a dolphin blowhole? <laughs> Watch it shoot just, out real far. I've done yeah. that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh. Like see a couple of people, you pay admission, they smack each other in the face with flounders. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you get now. I want to see, you know, ear, 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 the dolphin do all that fun stuff, but they stopped it. Or yeah, the they dolphin did. fall in love with its trainer and then rip her ponytail off her face. Oh, yeah. Uh, they try to, yeah. Yeah. They're, those they're, are pretty they're, good. They try to have sex with them, too. It's yeah, yeah, dolphins love people. Yep. They live the life of Riley there. They yeah. love it. They love it. They don't even have to raise the kids because people put them in another zoo. It's like so cool. Oh. They love it. Bo- Bo- Bobby Bobby Kelly was going in his little pool yesterday when we were talking about Oh, no. Here comes the joke. No, it's not a joke. <laughs> Here comes the joke. <laughs> he broke free from, I thought, from his I, Yes. I thought the, the Blackfish documentary crew was going to film it. He broke free from the shackles of poverty that led yeah. him to the I hated that documentary. A bunch of Blackfish. snitches. Snitches. Could, no. Spoiled fish. Save anybody drowning Thank just God. by jumping in. That really was the final straw of that whole thing. Yeah. Which yeah. is good. That it's was horrible. so very cruel. Nah, they were bullshit. The zoo's <laughs> been taking it too easy because they don't always do tricks like they used to. Oh. But they don't want to do tricks. They want to live in the ocean with their families. Right. The that's ocean. why they need to be whipped into submission. 
Spare the rods, so spoil the dolphin, Chipper. That's what my mother would say. We would go there late at night, and sometimes Lamar would call the dolphins over, and when they would come out for a fish, he would whip them with something. Oh, my God. He would whip them. I don't mind abusing animals if we're going to eat them, like veal. Yep. You know, I don't mind shoving yeah. a little veal into a, a cabinet, into a Wayfair cabinet for $65,000. And by, by veal, you mean a young Asian <laughs> child? <laughs> So how'd you feel about that thing? Were you disappointed when you just got cabinets in the mail? In? <laughs> I mean, if I order from Wayfair, they better show up on all fours. You know? Oh, yeah. You could probably crawl into one of those Wayfair things and get away with it, Karen. Yeah, yeah. you could. Little like, Fiona <laughs> Apple. <money>. Fiona Apple. <laughs> waif. Karen's a waif. Karen is a waif, like Wayfair. Yeah. So, do you believe that that was true, Wayfair? Yeah. I think the names correlated with the girls and then they deleted all those things. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, there's something going on. I don't know. Some kind of uh, pedo conspiracy. I, somebody else said that they worked for a specific part of Wayfair, like um, the platinum members, the really elite. Yeah. They, they, oh. wouldn't, they wouldn't all interact with the, those people. That was me, the special Wayfair, right? Yeah. Let me ask you guys heard about mm. this whole Epstein thing. No. Mm -mm. Who? Juan? Yep. The guy from Welcome Back Cotter got arrested. Welcome Back putting, Cotter. Putting yeah. feces in someone's mailbox. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'll fly everybody to pedophile island. <laughs> it has been speculated. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, shit. The Illuminati shutting us down. Uh, you shouldn't have brought up Wayfair or fucking See? Welcome Back Cotter. Exactly. <laughs> Welcome Back <laughs> I didn't know that was an Illuminati thing. Oh, it is. Yeah. By the way. A Vinny Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> How sexy is that fucking, is that girlfriend of fucking Jeffrey Epstein that they just arrested? Uh, Nick Totoro? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nick fucking Little pixie head bitch. <laughs> like to throw acid she, on her. Oh my god, that's really a dead ringer. <laughs> oh, she she was hiding out in New Hampshire. Yeah, she went to New Hampshire and bought like a, a place in the woods. Uh, you say you know New who Hampshire? Else, you know who else went to New Hampshire to try to escape uh, prosecution? Yeah, uh, from Vito. Vito, right? Oh. Vito from from the Sopranos. Live free or diet. Right. <laughs> you had his Johnny Cakes that he fell in love with. and then, That guy uh, killed himself. Yes, the guy that played Johnny Cakes in The Sopranos killed himself. He probably got sick and tired of going on auditions. Um, you know, uh, hark, the window breaks. Hey, Johnny Cakes. Like, uh, yeah, cake oh, I love you, Johnny Cakes. <laughs> he, he fucked Vito in the ass, and they had that scene where the train yeah. went through the tunnel right when he was rolling Vito over. It's very subtle. It was so juvenile and hilariously fun. You, you know they That guy it. getting a dick in the ass. No, but why would they cut to the fucking, the travel part? I didn't understand that. You didn't get well, the train? The no, train because was... they showed a train going. I'm like, what, is that Tony Soprano? No, no. it was supposed to be the Johnny Cake's dick. And the tunnel it was going in was Vito's asshole. I don't understand. <laughs> the subtle. You didn't understand the subtlety. You, I didn't understand. Like the sometimes reference. in movies when they make love, you might see fireworks in the sky. This yes. is a, a, a more uh, juvenile version of that. Right. Champagne. Like going in a tunnel. A uh, popping cork of champagne. Sometimes you see that. Yeah. Uh, or like yeah. he's going to make love. And then like they've cut to like a battering ram <laughs> a battering ram would work yeah. slamming against a fleshy castle curtain. door a yeah. fleshy Irish. fleshy hairy castle door an yeah. irish housewife oh, with, with a, a big knocker at the top <laughs> one big fleshy knocker oh a big a bloody moat <laughs> <laughs> What kind of castle is this? The, the moat has pulp in it. Ah, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Bloody moat. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's terrible. 
<laughs> oh, this was a treat. Oh, such a treat. As, before we as go, usual. before we go, I do want to thank Tushy Bidet for coming aboard. Welcome aboard. We're going to try to sell you some Heine cleaners, $79. Honestly, my That's Heine surprised. smells to high heaven. I need it. And I'm not trying to be humble. My Heine smells a lot like a oh. submarine sandwich. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> like fresh fake bread? No, not like that. Like the vinegar and earl one you get at the bottom of the bag because uh, I just wipe real quick. A lot of times I wipe with one hand as I'm ripping my trousers up with the other hand. From back in high school when they put cigarettes out on me in the bathroom. Yeah, you had to get, to get yeah, through with it quick, sure. Let's do Would You Rather. Let's do one more round. Go ahead, Dave, go on now. Uh, who am I doing it to, Chip? Whatever you want. It's up to you. Ask Karen, they, uh, me, ask Ann. I, 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 it's your show. I guess I should give you the honors. Okay, that's up to you. Go ahead. Yeah. Would you rather uh, walk 20,000 miles or attempt to without being able to drink more than a gallon of water or suck a dick? <laughs> oh, wow. Can I go? Well, <laughs> you're probably going to say suck a dick. I'm not a big walker. <laughs> yeah. Let me say, this is important. Cut or uncut? Oh, see? Oh, that's a good point. A com- yeah. Not only is it uncut, yeah. there's extra, so it's kind of drooping and it looks like an anteater. Oh, those are the cool ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool ones? Yeah, foreskin. It looks like they put the something small and oh. too big a wrapper. I yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, like it's part of the chocolate melted, but the end of the wrapper is just oh. dangling. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Ever, you ever shove a firecracker up one of those? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an elephant's trunk. <laughs> smells like one, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I did, I did make a list one time of goofy gags you can play on your uncircumcised pals. <laughs> is, that, is that a book? Yeah, it sounds like It was like going to be. One was put itching powder in the foreskin and staple it shut. Oh there was a God. lot of fun <laughs> gags. <laughs> I don't even have one of those foreskins, but I can imagine that wouldn't feel too good. Oh, it would be drive you bonkers. It would be a heck yeah. of a prank. God damn right. It Karen, seems you like got quiet, hard babe. to get away with. <laughs> yeah, they'd know it was me giggling with a stapler in my hand as they're bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just the itching powder going in first, you think, would at least wake oh, them. Oh. Right up in the, in the dick hole with the itching powder. Jesus Christ, that's torture. Karen, yes. babe, yes. ISIS. <laughs> how you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm happy to see you. This is yeah. Great. She got yeah. fucked up on that vape. Karen zooted. Zooted. <laughs> zooted. Zooted. Too. Wait, I had one. I had one. Okay. Go ahead, babe. Would you rather um, hold in your hand Amber Heard's hot steaming shit? <laughs> or oh, my mouth. Uh, hold on. Tough Johnny, shirts. Fresh off of Johnny Depp's bed. Yes. <laughs> A nice hot log. Um, or or so have sex with her vagina. Oh God! I would so. rather hold her turd, <laughs> so I could raise it above my hand and make a proclamation. <laughs> <laughs> we will win this battle, even though it had nothing to do with what's going on. I'll yeah. just have shit mushed in my hands, and they'd be like, "Why'd you say that?" I had to say. Plus, it gives you a little extra something to hit her with. Oh. What? Well, just throw it. You don't hit it. You just like stop your hand and watch the log fly yeah. off. Right. Like, give me a black eye. It's like no, he didn't. Uh, I got that. Oh. Like yeah, you, you can't like, do this on television, but except with spousal abuse and human shit. <laughs> no, you just do that and say, "Go ahead now, go out and play shortstop." Hey, you put the little chalk yeah. over your eyes. Yeah, you're ready yeah. to go. Yeah, yeah. touchdown. Well, yeah. Dave and uh, Anthony, I know what you guys are promoting. You're promoting Compound Life from the Compound. Monday yes. through Thursday, and you're also promoting G. Now I know there's been a little bit of a fucking shakeup over there, so let's discuss. Now Gino and Aaron in Hot Water is leading into your show. Yes, but you got Bill and Joe and Nusajinsky in the fucking morning. Is that correct? Yes, they are now doing the mornings, and we uh, we do a crossover now, which is fun uh, every every day. I've gotten to see the wonderful Gino Visconti. Uh, which I've missed over the course of the past uh, year or so. So Sure, you and the guy who runs a liquor store. I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looked good today, though. He looked good. Yeah, he's a good, uh, he's a good egg. Yeah. Dumb as dirt, but uh, yeah. I love him. Yeah, not a bright individual, but a good heart. So what yeah. time is uh, Joanne and Bill on? Uh, they are now on at, uh, what is it, 11? 
I think it's the same time, 10.30 yeah, or 11. 10.30, 11, something like that. And okay, then, so that's when the day starts. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to get in there too early. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. Um, and who else has shows on the network now? Oh, my God. Don Michael Jameson. Michael Don Malice. Jameson is uh, uh, We have there. a fair one. Tommy yes. Pope and I. Tommy Pope and E-Rock. Uh, has, Compound has, Cinema, has, which is new. Compound Cinema. Me and uh, Dave go into the uh, theater here at Compound Media. Uh, and oh, and you watch, watch Phil, that's cool, and you talk about them? And we, we discuss them as they're playing, yes, and it's just nothing but horrible pedophile jokes and, <laughs> and, and, and misogyny and, um, yeah. Homo- I would tell you about like the time Norton bombed in the movie theater. He was never funny in movie theaters. Oh, no. And he was, Norton was with his friend Bill D'Angelo and they were watching uh, Revenge of the Nerds and there's a massage, and Norton had bombed at one point and there's a massage scene and so fucking Jim yells out, that's cum, he's rubbing in your back. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even funny. <laughs> it got a fucking zero. <laughs> and Bill Bill went lower in his chair and just went, shut up, Jim. <laughs> oh, no. Your friend didn't even back you up. He was embarrassed. Oh, I was in a porn, a porn theater uh, many years ago and uh, in Bayshore, Long Island. And it was a, a, a blowjob scene. It was very close up and. This girl's blowing this guy, and and she co- he comes uh, all over the girl's face, and everyone's just kind of mesmerized. They're watching, and uh, I stood up and said, "But can she cook?" <laughs> and it got it got laughs. It was pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad. I would have said something. I would have said like, "Yo, she's got bisquick biscuit stuff all over her face. Is she <laughs> gonna make biscuits for all of us or what, fellas?" I'd I'd have laughed at that. I would have laughed my ass off. Try up old biscuit face. Yeah. <laughs> old biscuit face. Yeah. yeah, I've yelled funny shit in porn theaters before. Yeah. 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 Like there was this one, I walked in and this lady was being fucked by six guys and she was screaming and I stood up and I go, tell us how you really feel. Oh, Wow. I was in a porn theater one time oh. and there was a guy just jacking off and the police came in and the guy just emptied the clip into the police officer and then turned it on himself. And I stood up and said, now that's what I call a money shot. Ah, uh, see? And, so did, had, and did they all laugh? And we, well, the ones that were left, yes. <laughs> Dude, something like that happened to me. I was in, I was in a porn theater once. Oh, come on. I was. On screen? Yeah, I, was oh. getting, yeah, I got a standing ovation. After oh, <laughs> see? <clears throat> you ever been in the porn it. theater? I'd take you on a date to I've one. I've never been in one for real. Ugh. Oh, really? They don't oh, even yeah. have porn theaters anymore. They were the best. We used to go, all the guys from work. my address. <laughs> <laughs> We guys suck each other's peckers while you and your buddies would come in and ruin it with your Long Island loud fucking straight guy attitude. A couple <laughs> guys in the back trying to toot on each other's pecker, and they're like, ah! Look at them guys! Hey! Yeah, the guys from work, we'd be like, hey, let's go to Bayshore Movie Theater. All right. You go down, and it's like, hey, we're watching some porno. We're from Long Island. Some porno. Some yeah, that's porno. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> Yo, you ever drop your contact lens in there? That happened to me one time. No. Yeah. And you went searching on the floor for it? Yeah, about an hour and 45 <laughs> minutes of just kind of feeling around. Oh, and about uh, seven mistakes. I'm like, oh, that felt like a lens, but it ain't. Oh, God. And uh, I finally got the lens in, but then I got a very, very serious eye infection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would, wouldn't doubt her. That, yeah. was, that wasn't it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Karen, it's best what do to you just leave it. <laughs> That's what the yeah. doctor said, but I'm like, please, these things don't grow on trees. Yeah. Karen, That's what do you promote, my love? Oh, you know, just um, come to the stand, Comedy Club. They're doing some shows Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. You know, get on their email list and they'll let you know about them. Who's that girl that works there? Adela name is? Beautiful Adele, yeah. Yeah, she's a hot number. Anyway, she sent me a picture of David Tell performing everybody outside. It looked like a lot of fun. Oh. It was really funny. He had his mask on while he was performing, and then he goes, do you guys mind if I bareback it? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
But did he, are they using like, are they opening up the front so it kind of goes into the street? Yeah. Yeah. And they have like a spotlight and everything and it looks good. It sounds good. People are laughing. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Good. I had a great opening line when I did it with my mask. Oh. What'd you say? Hold on a second. I don't want to ruin the moment. Yeah. It's being built up right now. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Anticipation. Yeah. Yeah. Anticipation. So I walked in like this, right? Yeah. And I was like, everybody, this is a stick up. Give me your money. <laughs> and then I went, it's Chipperson. Oh, did everyone g- applaud? They went fucking crazy. Uh, I bet. Did they give you their money? <laughs> no, nah, but they all had their hands in their wallets, you know. I said, I got you. That's so me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Might be the best story I've ever heard. Damn. I went in there. I said, look at him over there. He's ready to hand over his wallet. We, we laughed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that? No. <laughs> uh, Just good natured joking around. You know, a couple sure. of guys having some or follow fun. me on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, I'll follow you anywhere you go. <laughs> she knows I'm teasing her. No, he's not. I don't know. All right. Where you go? What's your Instagram, Karen? Give it like I don't already know. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. What do you got? It's K E R O. Ew, he's drinking. Hey. Sorry, Karen. K E R R Y N F E E H A N on Instagram. It's at K Freehands on Twitter. And then, you know, the only thing. Freehand is your actual name, though. Yeah. But Freehands is pretty it's, memorable. It's just yeah. being. Me being yeah. annoying, too lazy. Yeah, yeah. What happened with Twitter? Something people. I, I'm not verified, so I didn't bother me. What happened was I needed some Bitcoin, and so is. I sent out a request, and then somebody fucking hacked it. And all of a sudden, Obama's asking for me. <laughs> hey, look, if you think that Obama's gonna go, send me some Bitcoin, and I'll send you some back. You deserve to lose your Bitcoin. Oh, what right a now. bunch of dummies! Yeah. What a bunch of dopes! I can't even figure Bitcoin out. But if I go out, I wouldn't send it to the president. You guys <laughs> take of my money. I said, though, you know. President does not need your Bitcoin. You idiot. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He'll give I, you I, back I, double, is what he said. He goes, if you send me a thousand dollars in Bitcoin, I'll send you a thousand, uh, two thousand dollars back. So yep. that's what they he did, and people were like, "Oh my God, he's got to be good on the up and up because it's Obama." So people sent a thousand dollars to the the address, the the big long Bitcoin wallet address, and then uh, guess what? They never got double their money back. Yeah, believe me, I I, I saw that tweet right. I, I said, "I'm like, yeah." I'm like, I saw. I sent him a tweet. I said, "Hey, Mr. President, why don't you send first and I'll send back after?" You know, we laughed about it. <laughs> Just <laughs> oh, he's so embarrassing. You had something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we were kidding around, just joking. Yeah, 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 I understood. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I understood. You know, uh, you don't get nothing for nothing, though. You know, I mean, if you, you if you, if you think you know you're gonna go around here with right. a Tweety Tweety Bird or something, you know, <laughs> if it's too good to be true, then you should take it. Take it. Because it's a good no, gift. No, that no, wasn't I mean, the quote, Chip. <laughs> no, What's Chip, it's, it's probably uh, too good to be true. So yeah, too good to be true. You don't want oh. it. If it's too good to be true, it, it's probably not true is the, the thing. So how is that legal? How'd they do that legally? Oh, it's not. That's <laughs> why so it's called a scam. Uh, would you like rather? They, like this whole COVID thing. <laughs> would you rather get a bunch of Bitcoins? Mm-hmm. Or find the bag of pebbles. Bitcoin. Can I go? Yep. Bitcoins. And on that note, we should end. That's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I know though that the pebbles were actually gold, so I would take the pebbles. No, they weren't. They- it, was, it was the suffocated body of a little Flintstone child. <laughs> oh, yeah, if it's fruity pebbles, you might have me a fruity pebbles. Uh, I thought I won. I hated I the figured Flintstones. Out. I thought I figured it out. Did you like the Flintstones? No, I fucking hated them. Didn't you hate them? Aren't they terrible? Ugh. Hey, Bernie. No, I love Sound like it. Uncle Paul. <laughs> <laughs> fucking never funny, that show. I used to watch it and go, yeah, why don't you put some shoes on it? Maybe you'll see if your car stops. I never understood how Fred was so fat when he drove his car with his body. You know with his he- feet, yeah. He would, he would run. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, oh, so you like, can get a portion of ribs that makes sense for your car. Right. Yeah, it's too big. Tipped over, food wasted, dirt on the ribs. No a good. How, how could a bird play a record with his beak? That's mm-hmm. so ridiculous. And then he would, he would yes. come, come up and he would go, it's a living. I'm surprised with all the animal cruelty that you didn't enjoy the show, Chip. <laughs> no, because I used to, it was a cartoon. <laughs> I used yeah. to make Dino meal. noises. Yeah. Remember Dino? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes Martin. I would, how, what was the noise he would make? <laughs> yeah. I would do that sometimes. I would, when my mother would be inside with her three or four friends, I would put my lips under the door and go, <laughs> I would pretend I was Dino until I felt the work would kick my lips. <laughs> <laughs> The side. As well it should have. And right, they just listen. kept the door locked. They did. I would yeah. try to get in there. I would yell fire. I would yell help. And then there was one word I yelled that brought a whole lot of people oh, out. I'm like, wow. oh, that one, Chippa. You're going to get me. <laughs> At least them. they opened the door. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't. They pushed it over on top of me, believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it was your imagination. Uh, I don't uh, want to get graphic. It was a lady. Uh, Oh my god, it's the best drunk guy at a bar impression. Yeah, a lady. Oh. yeah I just kind of like that time. I'm like, you know, good yeah. major deal, man. I know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you know what I mean. I bet yeah. you. Hey, all right, listen, Karen, you look good. You're showing some skin. Not too much. I'm going to have to kick me out of your house, you know. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> you might have to, you know, I might go over there all of a sudden. Then we know what happens. Right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, but it's just a thing. It's a fun way to be humorous and good natured. That's course, the important Chip. part. Yeah. Being it, good well, natured. We need that now more than ever. Yeah, we sure do. Everything's going haywire, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go crazy. I'm taking more control. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, uh, believe me, you put me in charge, but then again, if I'm in charge, you lose. We have crazy things going on. It's like, like <laughs> Chip danger feels. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I don't, I don't get no, uh, what didn't he get? Satisfaction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get no. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 fucking, I'm, I'm fucking Mick Dangerfield and shit. <laughs> <laughs> A little brown sugar on my tie. <laughs> 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 All right, listen, this was a lot of fun. Let's count down and we'll say our goodbyes. Let's uh, do that. You know, we're going to start at seven so we don't make it too high for you. Sure. All right, here we go. Seven, oh. a six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chippy Kaye for the muckers. Chippy Kaye for the muckers.